Alkali. Today we're going to go through acid and alkali properties. Now we understand that this is a huge topic in your entire O level. So uh, there are some basic things that you really got to know before you can uh, score in this topic and it's not difficult so make sure that you watch and learn okay. Right now I'm going to introduce to you acid first. Okay let's see what kind of things are considered as acid. Well, for them to be considered under acid, one of the most important things that they must have is H plus ions, which also means that in solution, this particular solution must give out H plus ions. So, decide that, what are some of the physical properties of acids then? Well, the moment you eat something and they taste a little sour, for example, your orange juice, your lemon, and even some other fruits or food that you eat that taste sour, inside contain substances of acid. Beside that, you also will realize that their pH level, which is an indicator, will range from 0 all the way to 6. 0 has been the most acidic. 6 means that uh, it is actually a weak acid. The smaller the number, the more acidic it is. Next up, you will also realize that beside the taste and the pH level, they will tend to turn universal indicator. Now, universal indicator has a range, so they you tend to turn it to red color. Now, if you remember the range of color, well, the whole entire range for universal indicator under the acid category will be red, red orange, and yellow. Next up, they will also cause your turn blue, litmus, paper, red, or actually pink. Alright, so these are your physical properties of all the acid. Next up, you also need to know the chemical properties of acid. Now, what are some of the chemical properties of acid? Well, you'll be surprised that acid actually will react. Acid can react with a lot of different kinds of metal. First up, they can react with some metals, not all the metals. So the acid that I'm talking about here are the diluted acid. They will react with some metals to give you a hydrogen gas and a salt. Next up, they will also have acid plus another form of metal instead of just metal will be metal, carbonate. Ah, that's when they will, because of carbonate, they will produce carbon dioxide, salt and water. Next up, acid will react with another compound of metal. This time round is metal oxide. You will give you salt and water. Next up, acid will react with metal hydroxide. Now you realize that they always have a so-called a reaction with metal. So next up is salt and hydrogen uh, water. Now, what are the common terms that you will see coming up? Is your salt 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 and salt now for this portion here i'm going to add on one more property acid plus metal hydroxide sometimes the metal hydroxide if they're soluble we will give them a name we call them alkali now if acid plus alkali they will also give you salt and water so these are the prop chemical properties of acid so what are exactly some of the examples okay of acid that we can commonly found in the lab well you have your hcl h2so4 and hno3 this one is your hydrochloric acid this is none other than your sulfuric acid last but not least this is your nitrate acid now if you notice that all of them has a common item and none other than my h plus ions so all acid will give out h plus ions of course, the physical properties, you can see they taste sour. So next time when you eat and you taste something soury, you know that inside contain an acid component, all right? These are all the chemical properties from metal onwards to metal carbonate. Remember, it's some metals, not all metals. Okay? As the title goes, it's acid, base and salt. So the next up, we will have our base. Now for base, is a little special. Base is actually a very broad word that consists of metal oxide and metal hydroxide. Now for metal hydroxide, the word already gave you a feeling that inside must have OH minus ions, okay? Now if they are soluble, 
we give them a name, and the name is alkaline. So soluble metal hydroxide, because of the hydroxide ions and they are soluble, they are known as alkaline. So just like what we did for acid, we're going to do the same thing for alkaline. So what's so special about the alkaline then? Well, what are some of their physical properties? Similarly, they also have a taste. They taste a little bitter. The pH level in states, uh, instead of 0 to 6, this will go from 8 all the way to 14. 7 is our neutral. Alright, now they will turn universal indicator. For this one, because they are alkaline, they will turn universal indicator from blue indigo to violet. So, violet. Now, they will also turn them red litmus paper blue. Well, these are all the physical properties of alkaline. Similarly, we also need to know about their chemical properties. So what are their chemical properties? Very similar to acid, acid alkaline will react with acid to give you salt and water. Secondly, alkaline will react with ammonium. Yes, this time around is an ammonium salt to give you ammonia gas plus a salt and a water. So these are the chemical properties which you have to know. Now, so with that, what are some of the very basic examples okay, of alkaline that we can find? Well, they are none other than our sodium hydroxide, sodium hydroxide, calcium hydroxide, okay? Sometimes you call them calcium hydroxide, you can also name them as your lime water. Last but not least, it is your NH4OH, we call them the aqueous ammonia. Now, these are all the common alkaline, and let I say, for them to be alkaline, they must have OH- ions, as you can see, OH and OH. And the more OH you have, the more alkaline it is. Similarly, they also have their physical properties and their chemical properties. These are important things that you need to bear in mind because next up when I show you the O-level type of question, you will realize that they are very, very vital. Now we are going to go through GCO level type of questions over here. You have... Uh, question 9, 2019 paper, here's 2019 paper here says, state two chemical properties of all the acid. Well, you have all the chemical properties here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So out of this 5, just need to pick 2. Acid react with metal, some metals to give you hydrogen gas and salt. Acid react with metal carbonate, give you carbon dioxide, salt and water. You get your full 2 marks, very simple. Next up, let's take a look at our 2018 paper. Over here, we have our 2018 paper. They say describe how you would distinguish between an acidic solution and an alkaline solution. Well, both acid and alkaline solution naturally look like just plain water. Without any further tests, uh, you will not be able to know which one is which. Some people say, that, oh, I can taste it. Since just now, Ms. Selena, you say that, oh, uh, acid tastes sour and alkaline tastes bitter. Please do not do that, okay? When they ask you to describe how you would distinguish, you need to write it down. Use some, some of this reaction here that you, you know, all right? So most common thing that you can use is your universal indicator. So say that use universal indicator. If the solution contains acid, they will turn from red, it will turn red, orange, or yellow. If the solution contains alkaline solution uh, with universal indicator, it will show a indigo, uh, blue or even violet color. So this is part C over here is very interesting. Okay, it says over here ammonia and hydrogen chloride are both compound. When mixed with water, one of these compounds produces an alkali solution and the other an acidic solution. Well, they say ammonia, I'll write to, to write down NH3. Hydrogen chloride is actually HCl. So I can see very clearly that one is an alkaline solution and another is a acidic, an acidic solution. However, they say when mixed with water, one of these compounds produces an alkaline and the other produces an acidic. 
They say, why? One solution is alkaline and the other is acid. As I mentioned in the previous uh, videos, okay, I say to make them alkaline, first they must have OH minus ions. These are all the examples of the alkaline. They all contain OH minus ions. So I need to explain that. Now, for NH3, when NH3, which is ammonia, dissolve in water, they will form NH4OH, which is actually your aqueous ammonia here. So, aqueous ammonia is NH4OH. When dissolved in water, they will dissociate to form NH4 plus and OH minus ions. And HCl, when dissolved in water, it will dissociate to form H plus and Cl minus ions. Okay, so the OH minus ions prove that an alkaline solution is formed. The H plus ions prove that an acidic solution is formed. Full stop. Okay, next up, you have this portion here. They say these two solutions can neutralize one another. Write either an ionic or a chemical equation to represent this neutralization. So I'm supposed to write either an ionic or a chemical equation to represent this neutralization. Basically, if I want to form an ionic equation, for neutralization process is simply H plus plus OH minus to give you H2O. Because the H plus come from my acid, OH come from my NH3, when they dissolve in water, that's when you get your water here. So, this is your ionic equation. How about chemical equation? Like I mentioned just now over here. NH3 dissolve in water to form NH4OH. So, I will be using, let me write down chemical equation first. So, let me put this aside. NH4OH plus HCl. So, they will produce a salt which is NH4Cl plus H2O. This is the chemical equation. And make sure that it's balanced. This is beautifully balanced. I get my full two marks. So this is how you get this, solve this question. Next, 2017 paper. Here says sodium hydroxide is an alkaline. Give two chemical properties of alkaline over here. These are the two chemical properties of alkaline that I mentioned just now. So it's very simple. I just need to say alkaline react with acid to give you salt and water. Alkaline react with ammonium salt to give you ammonia gas, salt and water. That's how I get my full two marks. Next up, they say as many plants grow well in alkaline soil than in acidic soil. Name and give the chemical formula of the ion that cause soil to be alkaline. What makes alkaline? Alkaline again, OH minus ion. So the name will be hydroxide and the formula is OH minus. Next Part up. C says, explain how the acidity in soil can be removed and how the pH of the soil changes during the removal. Well, this question basically asks and asks you to explain uh, how you should remove acid from the soil and how the pH of the soil will change during this removal. Now, when we talk about explanation kind of question, a framework that I can introduce to you is called the 3C framework. What is this 3C? Well, the first C is your concept followed by your context of the question. And lastly, we conclude it by a conclusion. So what is the concept that we should be using here when we talk about the removal of the acid in the soil? Well, to remove the acids, of course, we need to talk about and think about some of the chemical properties. We all know that acid can react with a lot of different kinds of uh, things and some of which are like metal, metal carbonate, metal oxide, metal hydroxide. But out of which over here, if you notice and you focus at this portion, acid can react with an alkaline or metal hydroxide to produce salt and water. Now this process is actually a neutralization process because water has a pH of 7 and salt also has a pH of 7. When they mix, this is called a neutralization process. They actually neutralizes the, the solution and causes the solution to have a pH of 7. It is something that we can use over here. So that is my concept, the concept of using neutralization. So how do I explain? I should say that the concept here is in order to remove the acid
Now, this is how I would say. In order to remove the acid, remember the concept is neutralization. So, I would say, in order to remove the acid in the soil, I will add calcium hydroxide. The concept is the OH in the calcium hydroxide will neutralize the acidic nature of H plus in the soil. And what is the context? So, in this soil, thus, I will cause the pH of the soil to from below 7 because as they say is acid so the context given be, given in the first place that it is acidic from below 7 to 7 of higher thus removing the acid and increases the pH and that is my conclusion that's how you gain your full two marks hey Thank you so much for watching the entire video. So next up, we're going to show you preparation of sorts. So stay tuned and if you like the video, remember to click like and don't forget to subscribe.